you've got to first of all look at technique and so then there might be common techniques that the driver needs to develop and so you'll go through and describe all of the technique issues. Then you'll go through the track and you'll associate some of those techniques to certain parts of the track but you'll also um, be de defining certain techniques specific to the track or to the particular corner. So um, yeah, the 10 pages or whatever it is, it sounds a lot but when you consider that um, that investment is a pretty small investment in the overall scheme of things because track time costs a lot more than the off-track time. Um, it's well worth it. Now, the video that we had there was very much like we described on the sim video where it was uh, onboard footage, but it also had data um, down the bottom and had the, all the brake and steering and all the rest of it. Uh, or it actually didn't have steering, but the video, video showed the, the steering. So yep. we were able to use all of those things to um, develop that analysis that we provided um, then and that's exactly what we would do with the the sim you've got that data all up on the screen you've got the vision of the steering wheel you've got the vision out of the window to see the track and so you can put everything together in a similar format mm. uh, now not everyone's going to need as much detail as that one um, that driver was getting he, he's got a fair few goals that he's aiming for he's, he's racing and wanting to be uh, a lot more competitive in his racing and he's got a very good car, so he's probably underperforming to what the car's to, able to, to, to deliver. Um, and so we really wanted to help him to get over that sort of to the next level. Um, but there, that's uh, also a good example for a point that I was going to make. Um, I don't know if you're going to ask a question along these lines, but he was well. He I think it came about because I saw one of his videos online and I messaged him and just said, oh, you know, you saw your video and um, there's a couple of things that I could, I'd like to help you with there and just, just reached out to help out because I, mm. uh, I know him on a different level. So he wrote back and said, yeah, I'd love to get that. I said, look, I can tell you this for, for free, but then, uh, you know, I think you're going to get a lot more value out of doing the whole thing. I didn't actually reach out to him to do a sales pitch. It just turned into the fact that he, he uh, got some coaching from me. Um, but had I not reached out, he wouldn't have known what he didn't know. Yeah. And so he would have drove around and he would have been looking at his lap times and he might get a little bit better every time he goes out because naturally you, you should or there's better conditions that day. Maybe the tyres were better or whatever. Uh, and he would have thought he was kicking goals. But it wasn't until a, another professional set of eyes what, had a look at what he was doing and was able to say, here's some things you're not doing well. Here's the way we can help you to do them well and here's the techniques we can help you to implement to get that achieve those goals. Um, and I think that sort of covers across to the coaching philosophy of what we're about at Evolve Driving as well, is we're not just going to tell you what you don't do well. We're going to identify the things that you're not doing at an optimum level. We're going to help describe why they're not optimum. We're then going to give you the optimum way of dealing with that technique or corner or whatever. And then we're going to give you the skills to actually implement that and the mindset that you can bring to it to actually achieve that goal as well. Because it's not just about saying, do this, do this, do this. We need you to understand how to do this, to do this, to do this, so that you can actually make your own assessments. And essentially, the better we do our job, the better we coach someone, the less we're going to be required because they'll end up starting to learn to coach themselves. They'll learn how to learn. And that's one of the goals that whether it's on sim whether it's in the real world, that's where we're trying to take people. And, yeah, great. Um, yeah, we want to give you that real growth that you can achieve, not just a one-off, got one lap because I fluked it or one lap because <laughs> I listened to you yell at me while we're going down to turn one. You told me when to break. You told me when to turn. You need to be able to do it when I'm not in the car. You need to be able to do it when you're in a different environment, whether it's a race environment, you've got other cars around you or whether you're just out on a club day and you've got a qualifying session or whatever it is you've got to be able to know how to do it in those situations as well yeah